today is the memorial of Our Lady of Mount Carmel. And today is also the feast day of our parish. Our Lady of Mount Carmel is a special title given to the Blessed Virgin Mary, associated with the Carmelite Order. When the Blessed Virgin Mary appeared to Saint Simon Stock, and the Blessed Virgin Mary gave him this brown cloth known as the brown scapula, uh, wherein uh, those people wearing those uh, brown scapula will receive her maternal protection. And those people wearing this also uh, dedicate themselves to the devotion to Our Lady of Mount Carmel. As we offer this Holy Mass, let us ask the intercession of Our Lady of Mount Carmel as we pray the opening antiphon taken from the uh, proper of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Blessed are you, O Virgin Mary, by the Lord God Most High, above all women on the earth, for he has so exalted your name that your praise shall be undying on our lips. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My dear friends in Christ, coming together as one people of God to celebrate Christ's sacred mysteries, let us call to mind all our sins and we humbly ask for pardon and strength. You were sent with a contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. May the venerable intercession of the glorious Virgin Mary come to our aid, we pray, O Lord so that fortified by her protection, we may reach the mountain which is Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. For her 
her stones are dear to your servants, and her dust moves them to pity. From heaven the Lord will stand on the earth. The nations shall be weary in the name, O Lord, and all the kings of the earth your glory. When the Lord has rebuilt Zion and appeared in his glory, when he has regarded the prayer of the destitute and not despised their prayer. From heaven the Lord will stand on the earth. Let this be written for the generations to come, and let his future creatures praise the Lord. The Lord looked down from his holy height, from heaven he beheld the earth, to hear the groanings of the prisoners, to release those doomed to die. From heaven the Lord looks down from the earth. And those people who 
where there is a brown cloth, the brown stocking, also profess a special way to dedicate themselves also to their uh, commitment and devotion. So, the Scotland Confraternity wears the special cloth to express self-dedication to the Blessed Virgin Mary. And therefore, it is also a way for us also that in special way we also profess our special devotion to the Blessed Virgin Mary. And today's Gospel reading reveals the message of hope that God will not abandon nor forsake those who come to Him. As Jesus says, Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart, and you will find rest for yourselves. So, the Gospel reading is inviting us to come and learn from Jesus. First one is to take rest with God. The second one is to take the yoke of God and be meek and humble of heart. So my brothers and sisters in Christ, learning from Jesus our Lord, and also uh, accepting the, the challenge and invitation of our Lord to take rest with God, take the yoke of God and be meek and humble of heart. For Christ promises us, come to me, all who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart, and you will find rest for yourselves. And I think this is a very consoling words, especially when we are at this moment experiencing challenges, trials, and even crises in our life. That Jesus is giving us these words of consolation in today's gospel reading to come to him, especially those who are laboring or burdened, and we will find rest for ourselves. Let us pray to God the Father as we honor Mary, our Lady of Mount Carmel, offering all our prayers and petitions. For the Church, may the Lord in His abundant goodness continue to nourish her through the gifts and fruits of the Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For our world, may God bring peace to every nation, every home, every part. Let us pray to the Lord. The Lord hear our prayer. For those, for all those whose burdens seem too heavy to carry, may the Lord bring them hope, consolation, and rest. Let us pray to the Lord. The Lord hear our prayer. For this faith community, may the Lord make us a refuge for the weary and a loving support to one another. Let us pray to the Lord. The Lord hear our prayer. For those who have died from the effects of the coronavirus, may God the Father welcome them into his eternal rest. Let us pray to the Lord. The Lord hear our prayer. For William Rocky Davis, for whom this Mass is offered, and for all the prayers and intentions that we hold in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, send the Holy Spirit upon us so that we may hear your word and faith and fulfill it in our lives. Give us hearts that are joyful and obedient to your will, like the Blessed Virgin Mary. We ask these prayers to Christ our Lord. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for to your goodness, who have received the bread we offer you, the fruit of the earth, and work of human hands, to be offered for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. But the mystery of this water and wine may be come to share in the gift of Christ, who humbled himself to share in the name. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for to your goodness, we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and bread of human hands, it would become our supreme of bread. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and perfect heart, may be accepted by you, Lord, and your sacrifice in your sight this day, be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash your Lord from my iniquity and cleanse me from all my sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that may sacrifice of yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and for the love of all the church. As we honor the memory of the mother of your son, we pray, O Lord, that the oblation of this sacrifice, made by your grace, make of us an eternal offering. Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our truth and our salvation to praise your mighty deeds and the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful of praise. For truly, even the earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you look on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us to her the offer of our salvation, your Son, our, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices we pray join with theirs in one chorus of exalted praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the cause of holiness. Make holy the Lord his gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the new fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave it thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which should be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of our blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. 
Remember, Lord, your church to spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and William, our Bishop, his assistant bishops, and all the clergy, remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and Glorious Martyrs, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, you may merit to be poised to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Lord, our Savior Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not at our sins, but at the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer to each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you all. Peace be with you to all those viewing online. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. The act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Praise the Lord our God. For in memory is happy. He has fulfilled his promise of mercy to the house of Israel. Let us pray. Having received the sacrament of salvation and of faith, we have been beseech you, O Lord, that we who devoutly honor the Blessed Virgin Mary may be worthy to share with her in the charity of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. May you have a blessed day. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the Almighty and loving God bless you all, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth in peace. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. God.